everybody, welcome back. Today is another declutter. We are doing the left hand side of my desk, which is highlighters, blushes, bronzers, face palettes. This is another brutal declutter. We are not taking any prisoners here. So I'm not going to fanny around if you want to see everything that I got rid of, which I think Melissa did well, then just keep on watching. Hi. You should see the state of me guys. We've got our big pink box. We have this side, probably as we said in the intro. Uh, so top drawer is highlighters and my vape juice, which I keep in there. Right, 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 right. I am going to see what I'm definitely keeping and then, <laughs> oh, this is good. This one's going to be hard, I can assure you. But I'm very excited because we finally got our new, our old acrylic dividers back so I can have stuff done really nice. So what can stay full show? Cookie. Sorry if it's not that bright. I actually don't have any, I've just got natural light right now. Kaleidos. Ray Rider can stay, that's my favourite, and Solar Sailor can stay because it's golden and I really like it. Oh, and Skywalker can stay because it's super blue and it looks fantastic on the inner corner. <laughs> I feel I should take these gloves off, shouldn't I? <laughs> I've got cold hands and I had to nip out, so let's just cover up the swatches. Comet Catcher is pink. I'm going to put that in the movie pile. Ofra, I'm going to keep. Star Island and get rid of the glazed donut. I'm going to keep Amrezi um, because I do like it. Fenty, how many carrots? I really like that. Oh, my Too Faced palette. That can stay. I love that. Mary Lou by the Bam. I never really reach for it anymore, to be quite honest. I'll just. Um, that can go. That can go. Eh, one basket down. Moving on. We've got. Maybelline Sandstone Shimmer. I got this like not that long ago uh, in TK Maxx for an absolute bark. So I'm going to keep that. Nabla Ozone. I bought this a while ago. It's just not wowed me. So that can go. I really like the packaging. Wet n Wild can stay. I love that. Becca Pure Pearl. That can go. Milani, I got this recently, Dolce Perla. It's really pretty. That can stay. Ooh, her hair stuck to stuff. Beauty Bay Flash. That can stay just because I've not played with it too much and it is very affordable, so it's a nice option. Makeup Obsession. It's time for them to go. I never reach for them anymore. They used to be favourites. They're still fantastic. Would recommend if you're looking for very inexpensive, very good highlighters. But I don't reach for them, so there's no point in me keeping them. This e.l.f. one can go. I've got another Maybelline. This is Diamond Glow. That can stay because that's really pretty. And it's lovely for a drugstore. Barry M. Baked. Incredible highlight. I just don't reach for it. So that can go. But two of these be perfect and I really have not had a chance to play with them properly. This is Ju Yu. They're very, no, quite an interesting formula. You won't really be able to see. And then this is Skin Sheen, which is like green. Uh, I don't know, I think I'll keep both because I don't actually have another green highlighter. And they're both really pretty and I would quite like to test them. Something that if I really hate, I'll just declutter in my next one. Fenty, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Beh, I underwhelmed me. That can go. Oh, another basket done. I've got a little mini vanilla by Becca. That can go. I never reached for it. Okay, I'm pretty sure all of these can stay. Benefit What's Up stays. Natasha Donut stays. Benefit High Beam stays. Morphe, Morphe can go. Makeup Revolution can stay, Fenty can stay, Colourpop Seismic that can go, I just don't reach for it. This Collection Speedy Highlighter that can go, I don't reach for it. This little mini, I used to love that, Chameleon Highlighter by Topshop. Oh, this used to be my go-to, but you can't get it anymore. 
I don't think. So that could go. I am being brutal. This is the Flash palette. This was sent to me by a lovely subscriber. So it's quite sentimental to me, so I'm going to keep it. I don't really reach for it that much, but it's more the, like, the thought of it that I really love. Okay, these two makeup obsession ones can go. This weird Wet n Wild one can go. My benefits stay, because they've both got Cookie and Dandelion in them. Self stays. And my three Amazon Hojo ones stay. I'm going to throw everything back in this drawer because we can organise it better at the end. Okay, next up is blush. I love blush. I've just added three blushes to my basket on. Oh, super drug. And um, I've not hit checkout yet because I'm like, Melissa, you don't need three new blushes. Probably don't need any. But we really need to be brutal here. That is powder, that is powder. Okay, all of my cream blushes can stay. I love them all. I feel like it's a really good little collection. Okay, Milan one can go. ABH, oh, that's that tone there. That's one that got me in love with peach. Uh, blush like a long time ago. It's such a stunning peach, but I never reached for this so that can go Oh melt that stays Obviously that stays So we've uh, that can go Nabla truth And that can go That's the wrong pile. Where's the go pile? NARS adoration. This used to be my favorite. I got it in TK Maxx ages ago. That can go. I just don't reach for it Natasha Denona, I am going to keep Diamond and Glow, it's more special and the other one can go, oh I really like this, my Ciate, Pinch Me, it's like a peachy pink, that can stay, Benefit Dandelion can stay, that's my favourite, Benefit Georgia can stay, that is another favourite, I need to get the full size, it's such a lovely blush, California that can stay, that's peach. <laughs> Oh, Clinique Melon Pop stays. Ofra Peach stays. It's absolutely stunning. Trust me. Uh, we're not doing so well, are we? Uh, okay, these are all going. So let's get rid of that. Okay, next Sweet Cheeks can stay. Elf stays. Rimmel stays. Barry M stays. Essence stays because it's so cheap and it is really pretty. This Primark one can go. Beauty Bay one can go. Bruja stays. Oh, NYX. Another one stays. Life's a Peach obviously stays. I love it. My Illa Mask and Naked Rose can stay. Milani Luminoso can stay. I love blush. Max Factor Cream Puff. That can stay. That collection one can go CYO. Oh, that's really pretty. Mm. I never reached for it though. CYO can go. These XX Revolution ones can go sleek. Are these all stay or go? Where's the go? Oh no, goes are here. <laughs> oh, that can stay. And then this little model zone one can go. Hey, I'm getting rid of some. I just really love blush so much. Okay, coloured rain. That can go. I never reach for it. Maybelline, that can stay because I'm doing uh, I'm going to do a full face Maybelline <laughs> at some point. So that will stay for that. This Kaleidos one, it's absolutely stunning. And this like dual chrome highlighter like orange to pink. It's so spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile, just because I'm undecided, obviously. These two blushy highlighters from Wet n Wild, they can go, I just don't reach for them. Nope, that's the wrong pile, Melissa. See, I'm getting very confused. Wrong light, oh, I do like this. Let me see, I've got four Makeup Revolution ones. This is I Heart Revolution, peachy one. This one I keep for that blush, but to be honest, I don't really reach for it. I don't really reach for pink blush. And then, I've 
I've got these two Makeup Revolution ones, so I'll pick what one I prefer. I prefer this one because it's got a peach in it. This is Peach Royale. And then this pink one, Rose Fresco. That can go. Um, I do really like the packaging on these. A little bit tacky, but it's fun. So I'll keep that Makeup Revolution one. That one can go. That can go. And Kaleidos. Mm. I really don't reach for it, so it's going to have to go. Oh, Melissa, you're being brutal. Okay, I'll throw everything back in, and then we'll continue. I'm definitely keeping more blushes than I need to, but I really do love them. I do. Okay, bronzers. Now this is where we have to get serious. This has some contour in it as well. Right. Becky sent me this kimchi one. And when I first saw it, I was like, that's going to be way too dark. I use this all the time now, Becky, just so you know. I love it. I'm really into warm bronze right now, so stays. Benefit Hula Light stays. Hula stays. Back to bronze can go. I just don't reach for it. CYO can go. I love it, but it's really, like, CYO's apparently been discontinued. Is it? I don't know. But that can go. Maybelline can stay for my full face Maybelline. Beauty Bay can go, Collection can go, Revolution can go. Oh, I really love this bourgeois one. It's so beautiful. Keep it. Too Faced can go. It's a little bit dark for me and someone else will get better use out of it. ABH can go. Soap and Glory, I do really like that but I don't reach for it, that can go. This Makeup Revolution one stays. Nabla stays, Wet and Wild can go, Milani can stay, Summer of Love, that can go, I don't reach for it anymore. Um, this one I keep for the bronzer and the blush, and I'm keeping it because that blush is sick. That bronzer is really nice too. That could probably go in either drawer. Anyway, I've got this new MAC one, I'm going to hang on to that until I, like, you know, decide. Oh! Charlotte Tilbury, film star bronze and go, thank you Kelly. Keeping, also keeping the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because it's stunning. Do I feel fancy using it? Yes. This Weaver one's really nice but I don't get much use out of it and I'd rather someone else did. My Jouer one, I also really like this but I never reach for it. Oh, Essence Contour, that stays. Butter bronzer can go, Too Faced Milk Chocolat can go, MUA Bronzed, I'm going to keep that for a very cheap option, that's like £2 and it's brilliant. Sculpt and Glow can go, Elf can go, and then I've got this Rimmel one, people are shouting outside. I really like that blush and the contour is quite nice, I'm going to keep that, I do like it. Kaleidos contour can go. Kaleidos is really good quality. I just find myself not reaching for it that much. Um, smell me. Doesn't smell that great. This chocolate one can go. It's too dark for me. Okay, bronze whip stays. My Fenty cream stays. Huda stays. Six stays. Maybelline stays. Fenty stays. What is that? That's a powder bronzer, right? Yeah, why is it in that compartment? That's fine, that's over to your cream. That one can go and roll dial. Oh, that's a lovely little contour. It's quite dark, but I really like it. So that can stay. And then this Ellie Girl bronzer stick, that can go. <gasps> I feel like we're doing quite well. Like, come on. Come on. Right, I'm going to throw these in. And then we'll move on. This is the last drawer of makeup on this side. And this is like face palettes. Um, oh, my chair's in the way. I'm sore. I'm sore. I've got some handheld mirrors in here. Or mirrors. How does Tia say it? A mirror. Mirror. <laughs> I've got, yeah, a few. I'm going to put them in a different place. I've got a little towel. Right. Belgian waffle doesn't go anywhere. Oh, 
This was sent to me from a sausage, the Benefit Complexionista. This stays because that's going to be great for travelling. And I like it. ABH Dream can go. I never reach for it anymore. Bellini can go. Aurora can go. My Urban Decay Shapeshifter. I was so excited to buy this. And honestly, I never reach for it. Ever. Also, the highlighter in here is totally smashed. <laughs> I'm just going to put that in the bin. But I'm sure someone else will want that for a very, very cheap price. <laughs> NYX Cream Contricate stays. So does the powder one. I really like those. My ABH one. I'm pretty much, honestly, only keeping it for fawn. Oh, and I don't need it, so that can go. Too Faced Con Coco Contour stays. And then my... Uh, makeup Revolution ones can stay and then Christina so lovely sent me a backup of my cream and my powder Okay, so they're all fine all fine Let me put all of this stuff in this box That's already just full up of stuff again. Did I just say this or did I say it in my head? What can be rehomed will be rehomed. You can trust me on that one. Now, that was stupid. I'm going to have to take everything out to put everything back in. We'll start with highlighters. So let me just put them in this basket. Here are my new, well, not they're not new at all. I've had these for a while. That's the lipstick lip gloss one. I've actually just sold that. So that can go up there. Oh, it's okay, Sigourney, it's not broken. Right, we have... One divider for highlights. These are from, by the way, a company called Nouveau Luna. I found them on Instagram and then just purchased through their website. I find these all quite expensive, but I did like build my collection over like a few months uh, so this is like the compact divider and I've got two of these and if you're wondering and if you also have Alex drawers they are designed to fit in there perfectly they fit in there perfectly widthwise they don't quite reach the back so there is a gap but like that doesn't bother me because I can also put like things at the front that are like bigger um where can I sit you? Back on my chair maybe. Hold on. Yeah, so I can just put my highlighters back in here. And I will say, I mean, these dividers, they are super satisfying. Like, having everything set out like that. I'm going to do it really in no particular order. Like widthwise, they fit the ABH in. They fit Maybelline. They fit Kaleidos, like width, widthways. They are pretty universal, I think. Um, oh, I think Fenty, that was in my maybe, wasn't it? But I actually, I do really like that, so that can stay. fits that and that one's really fat. Just like your mum. Sorry. Ofra Benefit. This is where we run into trouble because some of these are big. Um, What's that? Natasha Denona Benefit Fenty. I don't mind them all lying down like that. And you get all of these are too big. I don't wish to put them in another drawer. So what I might do is slide that back a bit and then stack these at the front. Yeah, I mean, it's not the most, I was gonna say sexually appealing. It's not the most appealing having them lying down at the front there, but I mean, it still works for me. And I took the pins out my drawer so I can open them the whole way. I'm going to move some of these back. 
just so I can sit my wee Jaclyn Hill there. I, I know that's not the most appealing, but do you know what? It works for me and it really does look better. Okay, I'll take all my... Do I want to put my blushes in a compartment or my bronzers? I think I've got more blushes. Right, hold on. Wait, that's going. Why is that in there? And that's going. Oh, I need to be careful. I've definitely mixed up my piles. You're probably watching like, Melissa, you said you were going to get rid of that, and you're not. <laughs> it's just because I'm being an idiot. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless me. We've got another acrylic compartment. Oh, oh, fits like a glove. Right, let's fill this baby up. good. Again, it's really in no particular order. If I slide this back, then I can make some room for my two blush palettes. They can just sit at the front. Yeah, that's all right. I'm happier with the amountage bronzer. Just uh, wear nail polish remover fell out the bottle. Didn't fall out the wall, you know what I mean? Leaked. Right now I don't have another like what's that called? Like powder organizer, but I do have this palette organizer. So this is for like your deeper drawers to stand up your palettes and like eyeshadow palettes. But I'm not going to use it for that. I have my eyeshadow palettes out. So I'm just going to put my bronzers in here and then at least it'll still be neat. I would quite like another one of those. I'm sure I have one. I just don't know where it is. So for the time being, this will be fine. So I'll just stack them in here. And it means I can actually fit my like wider ones in as well. Is that all my bronzers? Wow! I love these dividers so much. So much. So much. Beautiful. I am kind of flabbergasted by how many I got rid of. I kind of want to go through my declutter pile and take some out. In fact, all fit in there now, won't they? Let's do our best to squeeze my palettes in here also. You see? It is what it's designed for. Um, right, my chair's in the way of me opening my drawer fully, but I can open it fully. I'll put my backups like right at the very back. Oh. oh, I don't know where that cut off. I don't know where that cut off. You can only record for 30 minutes. I don't know if it's this camera or this. What is it called? Memory card. But my old camera, you could only film for 30 minutes as well. And then you just had to restart it. Anyway, all my contour palettes now fit in my bronzer drawer, which means I have an entire spare drawer in here. And I actually do like to keep my makeup towels in a drawer, so this can just be my makeup towel drawer for I have been stuffing them in this bottom one. It's about like when I use my ISO clean and wash spot clean my brushes. This bottom compartment is like random stuff. Random stuff. I uh, like extra tripods, sellotape, stuff like that. So many baskets now, spare baskets. We might just leave it there. 
yeah, and I'll do a separate one for palettes. And then that's pretty much us done, to be honest. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> Roll journal with that. They all fit in here. <gasps> so beautiful. I'm so pleased with that. So I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. I'll show you inside the drawers. And then that'll be us. You'll have to stay tuned for eyeshadow palettes, which is, I think, the one everybody likes watching the very most. I thought I'd just broken my camera there, but I wasn't pressing the on button. This is everything that I'm getting rid of. All of this stuff, I'm just kind of looking at what like can be rehomed and what can't be. By the time you're watching this, if you're gonna ask, it'll all be gone. Um, I just put it like straight to my sausage groups and give them the first choice. So this is stuff that I feel like can't really be rehomed. This is stuff that I feel can be. It's all still in really good condition. So yeah, I am very proud of everything that I'm getting rid of. Let's have a look in the drawers. Okay, so this is the highlighter drawer. Uh, oh, there's an alarm going on outside. <laughs> I've just woken up, it's the next day. I'm really happy with it, like I love having my dividers back and it's gonna mean that I don't overstuff my drawers again. Uh, blush, again, really happy with this. It all just looks so reachable and grabbable and just easier. Let me move that over there and that one. I'm just oh, so pleased. But my favourite drawer probably is my bronzers and palettes because it all fits in one drawer. And I really have just kept my favourites. And I'm just so pleased. Oh, Honestly, I feel so much better. And I've managed to declutter so much of it to other people. Which makes me feel good. So... We're doing really well. So there we have it. That is the left hand side. Like I said, our next video is going to be eyeshadow palettes, which I've actually already done. So I just need to edit it. And again, that is brutal. So please stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more declutters and more makeup content in general. Kitten content as well. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you think I did. And yeah, I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. And... Catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.